What's up everybody, I'm Dr. Josh Chigoda. Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about the must-haves when you're talking about a rotator cuff type of rehab. You have to do the stuff that we see all the time with those baseball players, with all those other professional artists and stuff like that that are doing these external rotations and internal rotations. The rotator cuff is really important because we know that it helps to rotate the shoulder, but it also helps to stabilize it. So we need to do these exercises. Uh, you'll need a band for this one and you're gonna need some sort of towel. And in this case, I used a rolled up sweatshirt. And we're gonna just place our elbow underneath so that we can almost like glue it to our hip. And what I like to do is I'll just start here. We're gonna start with the external rotations. And so we could put it, the towel or the sweatshirt like this, or we could put it like this, it's up to you, but I really like it more like this, going up and down so it stays nice and tucked underneath the armpit. You get a better alignment that way. And that's really the purpose of this. And what we're going to do is start here and we're going to rotate open, hold it for a second or two, and then slowly come back. And this is the external rotation for my right shoulder here. And then come back. And then all we're gonna do is a lot of people you'll see, they'll do this going really fast. Guys, that is not how to do it. You need to make sure that you stabilize and, do, and activate these muscles, okay? Uh, so we wanna start here. Hold it and a lot of people also as they get tired which is okay they'll start to use their body we want to also make sure that we drive our scapula back and down as we open once we do that that's a good repetition in addition this this is here as a guidance because if we start to flare our arm or elbow out this thing is going to fall out from under under us under us Sorry about that. And then as a result, we're gonna end up dropping it on the floor. And of course, then we don't have that good alignment. So that's the external rotation. We're gonna do the same thing for the internal rotation. So I'm gonna just switch the arms. What we're gonna do is the same here. And we're gonna come in this way, just pulling it inward. You're gonna notice that the inward is a lot easier. So you're gonna to wanna to take a little bit further of a step or increase the band tension. So that's what you'll have to do is you'll notice the inside is going a lot harder. So with the inside, you'll, you'll see some people shrug their shoulders. Again, this is the reason that you guys have a sweatshirt or a towel tucked under the arm so that it gives you guidance and constant feedback. So you're pinching and then you're pulling in and then slowly coming out, in and out. So these are the basic external and internal rotations that you see, but they're so popular and for good reason, because they really are a good exercise and you have to kind of have these as a result of a rotator cuff tear or trying to strengthen the rotator cuff or the shoulder girdle. This is absolutely critical. So guys, definitely do this. High repetitions, low band weight, and again, on the internal rotation one, you may want to up the resistance because your inside, internal rotation is going to be a lot more powerful. All right, guys? I'm Dr. Josh Chigoda. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you guys next time, guys. Bye.